Hi friends and welcome. So today I'm doing a reading wrap up slash update thing. So I kind of just wanted to, since it's the end of February, go back through, reassess what I've read, how I felt about it, and kind of address this, this little bit of a slump I've been in. Um, and it's not so much a slump where I don't want to read, it's I want to read, but I'd much rather also do other things. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm a little frustrated. But I did want to just mention a few of the things that I've read this month. Uh, I did mention in a previous video that I read The Bridges of Madison County by Robert James Waller. I gave it a five out of five stars. I loved it. It's fantastic. It's one of my new favorite books. Like such beautiful writing, such gorgeous, just atmospheric, makes you think kind of writing. I really enjoyed it. I also read um, Sarah Gailey's River of Teeth, which is like a reimagining of um, if Congress had gone through with bringing hippopotami, hippopotamuses, um, into the Louisiana Bayou. And it's kind of like a Western, but with hippopotamuses and uh, an openly non-binary character, an openly gay character, um, a very pregnant assassin. <laughs> uh, I just, I really enjoyed that one. That one, oh, just, it hit all, like it ticked all of my boxes. It was, it moved along really well and I really enjoyed it. And um, you will be hearing my son in this video. I'm sorry, but that's how it is. Um, I also read a short story collection, uh, American Housewife by Helen Ellis. Now, if I can put pictures of these in, I will. More than likely not, because I, I still don't understand how that works. And I do all of my editing on my iPhone and all of my filming on my iPhone. And so iMovie just still is uh, a little bit of a mystery to me, no matter how many times I, I try to YouTube it. But anyway, back to American Housewife by Helen Ellis. This got like a solid four and a half stars out of five for me. It, there were a few of her short stories that were like a page, page and a half long that I was like, I mean, yeah, it's cute and I get it, but like doesn't really add very much. And like it was almost too quick to really develop anything. Uh, it was more flash fiction in some parts, but I, I still really, really enjoyed it. I was openly just laughing during quite a few um, parts about it. There was one story about uh, antiquing that I thought I was going to hate, but I ended up just falling in love with, absolutely falling in love with. And then I did mention that I listened to the audiobook of You're Never Weird on the Internet Almost by Felicia Day. That got like a solid like 3.75 out of 5 stars. It was almost a 4. It was enjoyable. There were a few parts that dragged and I mean I did listen, enjoy listening to the audiobook but ultimately it's like it's not really one that um, blew me out of the water, you know. So I mean it is what it is. Now, I do want to mention, I have a very dear friend who lent me um, one of her books, and she absolutely adored this book. Um, and I, I tried it. I read the first four chapters, the first 50-ish pages, and um, I realized that it's an epic fantasy slash romance, and there are like four books in the series, and I'm not quite a series person, and I have a really hard time finding fantasy that I like. And fantasy romance is just not quite my cup of tea. Now, I, I'm really glad that she loves this book, and I'm glad that she wanted to share it with me. Unfortunately, it just wasn't my thing. Like, I, I tried to get into it, but, like, the first 50 pages, I didn't like the writing. The dialogue felt very uh, unrelatable. Like, it didn't feel natural, like, how people actually speak or, like, the, how people would naturally progress a conversation and so I found that incredibly frustrating um, and I mean it's not to say it's a bad book or it's written poorly it's just I didn't jive with it and that's uh, The Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hauk Hook Hawk I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce her last name 
But um, I'm sure this is a fantastic book. And I'm sure, you know, there are a lot of people who love it. But this just wasn't for me. And maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance. Maybe I should have just kept reading and seen if I could really get into it. And once, once it picked up. Um, uh, I think this suffers from maybe starting in the wrong spot. I think that's probably what it was. Um, but again, my friend really likes it. I'm sure it's an excellent book, just not for me. So I will be returning this to her. Now, what I'm currently reading is, um, it's, <laughs> I try not to read more than one book at a time, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> right now. So I started this book and it's Housekeeping by Marilyn Robinson and I think I I mentioned it in, in my last video, my right with me. Um, this is very atmospheric, it's very melancholy, it's very eerie, it's um, it's a look at, at family and home and the way we connect with places and um, our sense of permanence and um, roots and I this book, from the very first time I read it for college, has haunted me. I, it comes back again and again. Um, I want to, I think about it, I want to reread it, I want to revisit the language, the characters, and I feel like this time, me rereading it, I'm really getting a sense of why they've developed the way they've developed and who they are as people uh, and the way they think. and. I mean, that is to say, I still have no fucking clue, but I'm enjoying it. And um, I'm just reading a little bit at a time. Um, and I did put this on pause to try The Tiger's Curse, and The Tiger's Curse didn't work out. So I'm going to keep reading this. Um, I'll probably switch intermittently between this and my next one that I'm going to mention, which I might as well. It's... Um, on my Kindle, um, I got it from the library over the Libby app um, for ebook, and it's Nevermore: The Trials of Morgan Crow, and um, I just started it this morning, uh, and so far I'm intrigued. Like th this, the premise of it has intrigued me. I don't know if you can see this. Um, I don't know if you can see that like at all, at all. But um, it's Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. Um, this is really big. It's been going around booktube um, for a little bit. I'm reading it. I'm excited. I mentioned this to my friend who lent me Tiger's Curse, and she read it and really liked it. So I'm hoping since this is one that I am super interested in, and I think I might jive with, this is middle grade, um, and I tend to do better with middle grade fantasy than like young adult or adult fantasy. So we'll see. That's not a definite. That's not a definite. So I'm interested. Uh, I just like just just started it. And um, I'm intrigued. I, I'm liking the writing so far. So we'll see. We'll see. So there's that. And that's, that's pretty much it. I, I haven't had the best reading month. I haven't had the worst reading month. I mean, you know, um, four books with two more I'm reading and I'm hoping to at least finish housekeeping by the end of February. I mean, five books, that's, that's pretty darn good. I mean, I'm on track to read, you know, 60 books this year and that's not my favorite. I'd like to read well, 25 was my, like, soft goal. Um, just because I, I wasn't sure how this year was going to turn out. But, I mean, I would like to hit 100 books. But if that doesn't happen, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to keep reading. I'm just going to keep reading. I do want to... Um, I finally finished the Harry Potter series, which I didn't start until college. I didn't read them in, in, until I was, I started reading them in college, I believe. And uh, 
I'm liking, I like Harry Potter. I, I don't feel like I have that nostalgia. I definitely don't have the nostalgia of like a lot of fans do. Uh, I definitely don't have that sense of like, this is mine. Like I don't have that, that claim, that, that intense like sense of, of um, not ownership, but like connection that I know a lot of fans do. Um, but I still, I still am a fan and I still really enjoy it. Um, even though I don't like some of the characters and I have some very strong opinions. Um, yes, I, mommy has some very strong opinions, but I don't know. Um, I would like to reread the Harry Potter books, maybe, um, starting next month. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. Um, I kind of, I don't know. I kind of am at this stage where like I want to do my writing but I also want to read but I also want to work on like jigsaw puzzles but I also want to just not do anything and like rewatch all my favorite movies and I kind of want to like play all my favorite board games but at the same time like I have no motivation to really actually solidly like sit down and do anything which is really frustrating um I don't know like it's been it's been a good month it's been a really good month I just haven't been able to like do some solid reading or any anything so we'll see um well that's really all I have to say and thanks for coming along on this journey with me I'm sorry I've been like looking everywhere but the camera it's just one of those things I have a hard time focusing in on one spot um when I'm having a moment so but thank you so much for joining me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.